In chapter two of Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince, readers encounter two witches that become key players in Harry's story. Long before these characters were Narcissa Malfoy and Bellatrix Lestrange, they were Narcissa and Bellatrix Black, students at Hogwarts and joint heirs of the noble and most ancient House of Black, some of the most powerful dark wizards in the history of the wizarding world. While you might recognize Bellatrix and Narcissa from the films, what you might not know is that these infamous witches have a third sister, Andromeda, who was disowned and burned from the family tree. In this video, I'm going to share a glimpse into the history of these three extraordinary witches, including some of the details that inspired us to create the Noble House of Black series. Let's start with the oldest sister, Bellatrix Lestrange, who was born Bellatrix Black in 1951. Bellatrix Lestrange is probably one of the most feared villains in the Harry Potter universe, and arguably one of the most powerful players on either side of the wizarding conflict. As the oldest daughter of Cygnus and Jarella Black, Bellatrix was a pure-blood witch who was sorted into Slytherin at Hogwarts, and was raised to adhere strictly to the practice of blood purity, aka never marrying Muggleborns or anyone who doesn't have pure-blood magical lineage. Like most of her family members, Bellatrix has a name that's derived from astronomy. Bellatrix is a star in the Orion constellation, and the name also translates directly to mean female warrior, which is fitting considering that she's one of the few named Death Eaters who's a woman. Bellatrix's wand is crooked, 12 and 3 quarter inches long, made of walnut and has a dragon heartstring core. The wand was constructed by Garrick Ollivander, who described it as, quote, unyielding. Bellatrix married Rodolphus Lestrange, who also has a brother named Rabastin Lestrange. One interesting fact about Bellatrix is that Helena Bottom Carter, who infamously brought the roles to life in the Harry Potter movies, was actually not originally cast as Bellatrix. The late Helen McCrory was set to play Bellatrix in Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix, but she became pregnant prior to filming and was unable to play the role. As movie watchers know, things ended up working out just fine as Helen McCrory was brought in to play her sister, Narcissa, instead. In the films, Bellatrix always appears to stand at Voldemort's right hand. This was a deliberate decision from filmmakers to convey that Bellatrix is both literally and figuratively Voldemort's right hand, his most trusted soldier, lieutenant, and advisor. The relationship between Bellatrix and Tom Riddle is confirmed to be sexual at some point. Bellatrix conceived a child with none other than Lord Voldemort at some point between the Battle of the Department of Mysteries and the Battle of Hogwarts, which ended with the death of both Bellatrix and Voldemort. Another interesting detail from the Harry Potter movies is that Helena Bottom Carter was the one to suggest that Bellatrix's teeth be rotted out with makeup. This was done to suggest the savagery of the years she spent locked away in Azkaban prison. Next, we have Andromeda. Andromeda was probably the middle daughter of Cygnus and Jarella Black, although we don't know that much about her, like what year she was born or where. We do know that she attended Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry alongside her sisters in the 1960s and was sorted into Slytherin House. Although she isn't seen in the Harry Potter films, she does appear in the books, in Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows. Like her cousin Sirius Black, Andromeda was disowned and burned from the family tree on account of her decision to marry a muggle-born Ted Tonks. Andromeda is best known for being the mother of Nymphadora Tonks. Her daughter Nymphadora is a metamorphagus, which a metamorphagus is a witch or a wizard with the ability to change his or her physical appearance at will, rather than requiring polyjuice potion or a spell like the rest of the wizarding population. They are extremely rare, which suggests that Nymphadora, like her mother, is a powerful witch. Now to depart from canon and share some of our own thoughts we've incorporated into the Noble House of Black series. We imagine Andromeda as the head girl of Hogwarts, alongside her boyfriend Ted Tonks as Hogwarts' head boy. We also imagine that Andromeda's Patronus is a fox, and that she excels at transfiguration and that, like Sirius, Andromeda becomes an animagus. Again, these are only our own ideas for the Noble House of Black series and are not necessarily reflective of the Harry Potter canon. Finally, if you're a true Potterhead, you'll recognize Narcissa Malfoy as the mother of Draco Malfoy, Harry's nemesis and childhood bully. Narcissa is also the wife of Lucius Malfoy, one of Voldemort's Death Eaters who attacks Dumbledore's army in the Battle of the Department of Mysteries. In the books, Narcissa is described as a devoted mother who regularly sends Draco sweets and presents in the mail. Hagrid tells Harry that Narcissa and Lucius Malfoy were among the first wizards to come back to the good side after Voldemort first disappeared. Narcissa never becomes a Death Eater, and although she demonstrates clear pure-blood prejudices in the book, her loyalties are somewhat ambiguous, as she does end up becoming the person to save Harry's life in the Battle of Hogwarts. 
Narcissa is also a powerful Aquamans. Occlumency is the magical ability to conceal one's thoughts from intrusion. In Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows, Narcissa becomes one of only a few magical individuals to successfully lie to Lord Voldemort. She's in good company with her cousin Regulus and the Hogwarts potions master Severus Snape, who happens to be close friends with her husband, Lucius. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and getting to learn more about the sisters of the Noble House of Black. If you're interested in watching the series, you can check out part one in chronological order on my page now. Check back soon for more updates, and as always, thank you so much for supporting our channel.